But you know what? We talk about, we think about the countless thousands of other people who suffered so much more than we have, with so much less support, so much less reason to go on. But they get up every morning, every day. They put one foot in front of the other. They keep going. That's the unbreakable spirit of the people of America. That's who we are. That's who we are. Don't forget it. Like the people in the neighborhood that Jill and I grew up in, she in Willow Grove and my down in Wilmington and Claymont. The kid in Claymont with the most courage who always jumped in when you were double teamed or your back was against the wall, who became a cop because he always wanted to help people. The middle daughter of three daughters who always made her mother smile, who was a hero to her sisters, now a major in the United States Marine Corps because, Mr. Press President, I wanted to serve my country. The teacher, the teachers who Jill knows and so many of you know, who take money out of their own pockets to buy pencils and notebooks for the students who can't afford them. Why? Why? Because being a teacher is not what they do, it's who they are. You know what I know, for real. These are the people who are the heart and soul of this country. It's the America that I know, the America that Hillary knows and Tim Kaine knows. You know, I've known Hillary for well over 30 years. Before she was First Lady of the United States, when she became First Lady, we served together in the United States Senate. And during her years as Secretary of State, once a week, we had breakfast in my home, the Vice President's residence. Everybody knows she's smart. Everybody knows she's tough, but I know what she's passionate about. I know Hillary. Hillary understands. Hillary gets it. Hillary understands that that college loan is about a lot more than getting a qualified student education. It's about saving the mom and the. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to state the obvious, and I'm not trying to be a wise guy here. I really mean it. That's not Donald Trump's story. Just listen to me a second without booing or cheering. I mean this sincerely. We should really think about this. His cynicism is unbounded. His lack of empathy and compassion can be summed up in a phrase that I suspect he's most proud of having made famous. You're fired. I mean, really, I'm not joking. Think about that. Think about that. Think about everything you learned as a child, no matter where you were raised. How can there be pleasure in saying you're fired? He's trying to tell us he cares about the middle class. Give me a break. That's a bunch of malarkey. Folks, whatever, whatever he thinks, whatever he thinks, and I mean this in the bottom of my heart. I know I'm called middle class Joe. In Washington, that's not meant as a compliment. It means you're not sophisticated. But I know why we're strong. I know why we have held together. I know why we are united. 
it's because there's always been a growing middle class. This guy doesn't have a clue about the middle class, not a clue. Because, folks, when the middle class does well, when the middle class does well, the rich do very well and the poor have hope. They have a way up. He has no clue about what makes America great. Actually, he has no clue, period. But, folks, let me, uh, you got it. Let me, Folks, let me, uh, let me say, let me say something that has uh, nothing to do with politics. Let me talk about something that I am deadly serious about. This is a complicated and uncertain world we live in. The threats are too great. The times are too uncertain to elect Donald Trump as President of the United States. Now, let me, let me finish. No major party, no major party nominee in the history of this nation has ever known less or has been less prepared to deal with our national security. We cannot elect a man who exploits our fears of ISIS and other terrorists who has no plan whatsoever to make us safer. A man who embraces the tactics of our enemies, torture, religious intolerance, you all know, all the Republicans know, that's not who we are. It betrays our values. It alienates those who we need in the fight against ISIS. Donald Trump, with all his rhetoric, would literally make us less safe. We cannot elect a man who belittles our closest allies while embracing dictators like Vladimir Putin. No, I mean it. A man who seeks to sow division in America for his own gain and disorder around the world. A man who confuses bluster with strength. We simply cannot let that happen as Americans. Period. <laughs> Folks. I have no one ever no one ever doubts I mean what I say, it's just that sometimes I say all that I mean. <laughs> but folks, let me tell you what I literally tell every world leader I met with, and I've met them all. It's never Never, never been a good bet to bet against America. We have the finest fighting force in the world. Not only. Not. Not only. Not only do we have the largest economy in the world, we have the strongest economy in the world. We have the most productive workers in the world. And given a fair shot, given a fair chance, Americans have never, ever, ever, ever let their country down. Never. Never. Ordinary people like us who do extraordinary things. We've had candidates before who attempted to get elected by appealing to our fears, but they've never succeeded because we do not scare easily. We never bow. We never bend. We never break when confronted with crisis. No, we endure. We overcome. And we always, always, always move forward. That's why. That's why I can say.
with absolute conviction. I am more optimistic about our chances today than when I was elected as a 29-year-old kid to the Senate. The 21st century is going to be the American century because, because we lead not only by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. That is the history of the journey of America. And God willing, God willing, Hillary Clinton will write the next chapter in that journey. We are America, second to none, and we own the finish line. Don't forget it. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Come on. We're America.